Jan Wills, 1891-1972. Uh, he died on, 11, uh, on, uh, on February 11th in 1972, was a Dutch architect. He was born in Alkmaar and died in uh, Torburg. Uh, Wills was one of the founding members of the Steel movement, which also included the Piet Mondrian, Theo van Dersburg, and Gerry Riedveld. Among other works, Wills designed the Olympic Stadium for the 1928 Summer Olympics in Amsterdam. His design was also entered in the Olympic art competition and won the gold medal. Interesting, that design for the building entered the competition that, was, uh, the, that took place uh, you know, at the same time with, uh, with the Olympics. He also designed the Papa Vork Papevorkhof housing complex, which is a Dutch national heritage uh, site. Um, and uh, now I know what this word means, because uh, the other day I didn't, and now th I, this is what it means. It's a Dutch, uh, it's a, it's a, you know, it's, it's protected by, by Denmark, the Dutch national heritage site. This was the man. Uh, it didn't build so much, but uh, it was uh, important. Some drawings, a few, one or two, were not so just drawings, uh, things showing the influence of the steel. Um, the stronger personalities there were Theo van Dersburg and Piet Mondrian and uh, Gary Riedveld, uh, but uh, he, he had his role. Again, the architect loves to design chairs, and chairs love to be designed by architects. Now, we look at a building which does not exist any longer from, uh, we built it in 1918, 1919, uh, was demolished in 1960. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright had a great impact on, 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 Den on, uh, on uh, Dutch architecture. Uh, and here we see perhaps a little bit of that. Why was this demolished? I do not know. Now, Dutch architect Jan Wills designed this 1931 Citroën showroom and headquarters in Amsterdam shortly after completing work, uh, uh, completing work, I guess, on the 1928 Amsterdam Olympics. Uh, it's now a business a sports mobility powerhouse, according to Google Translate, which may make more sense in Dutch, but it looks as though the exterior is li largely unchanged. This is the building. It's a showroom, and we are going to see some pictures with, uh, with uh, delicious uh, old cars in it, like here. Again and again, the, the discrepancy, the, you know, between architecture and the car design, the car design of that time, I mean, the building was built, you know, at the time when, when these cars were built. But while the building looks contemporary, the cars do not. We might like them, of course, and I like them, but they do not belong to our time. The cars of our time look very different. But the building could have been built today just well, just fine. Jan Wills. Now this housing complex uh, is, uh, is, uh, is important. Uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the Netherlands. Let's read a little bit about it. It is a housing complex in The Hague that was designed by Jan Mills, built between 1919 and 1921, so it's 100 years old. The project was Will's breakthrough as an architect. Today, the, this Papa Verhoff is a monument in the sense that is, uh, you know, it is one of the top 100 Dutch heritage sites, and they have many important buildings. 
uh, the Netherlands. The complex was restored in 1958, 1971, 1989, and 2006. Well, it seems they do take care of, um, of the heritage sites. Uh, so the complex Built in horseshoe fashion around the sunken garden. Besides the communal garden in the middle, each home has its own yard with enclosing wooden fence and, and cement flower pots in matching architectural style. And here it is. Uh, the, the buildings are a little bit dated. I mean, uh, something about them that. Uh, they seem to be a little bit dated, but uh, I'm sure they are quite comfortable and uh, indeed they seem to be restored uh, properly, taken care of. The fences as well, not just the buildings. And again, these buildings are uh, even a little more than 100 years old. Here is the site plan. I once tried something myself, like something similar uh, myself, where I connected uh, the buildings uh, at the corner through balconies. Here he goes, he does a little more than that. It's a more, I don't know exactly how, uh, you know, he solves problems of light here, even of ventilation, because these are rather, rather narrow, these spaces. But since they are not tall buildings, I guess it works. Jan Wills, a former member of the, the Steel Movement. <laughs> the Steel Movement, which is so famous, but, uh, you know, Theo van Dersburg was not an architect. Piet Mondrian was a painter, and Gary Riedveld was a cabinet maker. So that. It might be that actually Jan uh, Wills was the, the only architect, uh, but he, he himself, I don't know if he received training as such as it is today in architecture. And we are talking about a major art and uh, architecture movement, no, the steel. And they did build buildings, including Theo van Dersburg. Uh, Piet Mondrian didn't build, but uh, he painted cathedrals when, when he was uh, younger, uh, and he has some very moving uh, paintings before he arrived at his well-known verticals and horizontals. He always painted cathedrals and trees, churches, village churches, or whatever, cathedrals and trees. The Olympic Stadium by um, Jan Wills uh, from 1928, it's almost 100 years old, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's still functioning and it's a good building and it looks uh, humane, human uh, uh, towards the outside. You know, maybe because of the brick, it's an unusual uh, site for a stadium to, to look like this. I imagine he designed also this vertical element, which is, shows a certain complexity in its simplicity. the Olympic Stadium during the Olympic Games of 1928, a view from the air. Who would have thought in 1928 that, uh, that uh, 15 years later, Europe would be ravished by the Second World War? Ravished. I mean, we are talking about uh, the Netherlands. The Netherlands suffered immensely because of the Second World War. Rotterdam was almost leveled, uh, dramatically destroyed. Why is it that humans cannot abstain from wars? Why? 
when it's now, then you know, you know what, actually, you don't have winners and losers. Everybody loses, everybody. And yet we cannot abstain, it's incredible. It's some kind of a demon of self-destruction within us, you know? We build things and then we start wars. Jan Wills, the Olympic Stadium in Amsterdam from 1928. Now, I found this on the, on the, on the Dutch uh, website. Uh, I don't know how to read, but the, word, the first word can be understood in, uh, in, in Hague, which is the capital of the Netherlands. Here is the building uh, still standing. Jan Wills who died on the 11th of uh, February. Another protected work, but he worked here with, uh, with uh, another architect whose name I hesitate to pronounce. You see there, Wills, uh, Jan Wills, you see his name on the right. It's interesting, this interesting villa or house. I like it. You know, we know the Schroeder house by um, uh, read belt, uh, but this one uh, I didn't know of until I discovered it actually today. But I think it's a good work. And Jan uh, Wills uh, was part of the small team that created it. I see it uh, almost as some kind of a building that uh, negotiated between. Um, the Steel and uh, the School of Amsterdam, although the School of Amsterdam is a little bit more romantic and, uh, and uh, lyrical. But here you see, because of the material, essentially, the brick, something about it that uh, makes me think also a little about the School of Amsterdam. And it is, you know, uh, well, it's in Hague, but uh, 50 years of, uh, of the Great Wall of China, I found this, uh, you know, it's, it's not the Great Wall of China, but it's a large building that he built uh, together with that other person in 1965, a housing complex, which probably is, is known or called the Great Wall of China. It was built in 1965. And uh, this is an image from the interior, uh, Jan Wills. Uh, we are going to see, maybe I should show first. Uh, here it is. And you see the text uh, in, in Dutch. This is the great uh, Chinese wall, so to speak, in the Netherlands. You know, built in 1965 by uh, Jan Wills and his, uh, his colleagues. But uh, we look at, uh, you know, it's the staircase probably of a building with, without uh, elitist uh, ambitions, but you see that it's, uh, it's a finely designed uh, staircase. Uh, different from the staircases that we saw with Arne Jakobsen, but still a uh, 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 fine design. And it's important this space because it's the, you know, if it has dignity and beauty, when you use the stair, you know, you, you are not depressed. Unfortunately, many, many cases in our country, at least, of staircases are just depressive because, you know, nobody pays attention to them as if they are just utilitarian devices. They are not. 
I mean, they do have a utilitarian function, but, but, but there is more to a staircase than that. Anyway, I think this is the last uh, work I show in this uh, introduction because it's no more than that, but he didn't build so much, uh, Jan Wills, the truth of the matter. <clears throat>